Okay, somebody in Portugal asked me about uh, if I quit on this, I just stopped because of uh, all the work on the other build. But what this is for, it's I can just put a part in here, get it in here first, there we go. And you see how it's not flush right here? So I'm gonna have to fix this by gluing on a piece here and then route it. And here, it'll probably need to be cleaned up as well. So that way it'll be uniform thickness. Okay, with these uh, long levers, they used to be this long. I extended them because when they go like this, they'd only come to here, not much leverage. Now it gets a lot more. And with 15 degree angles, the space between them is 30 degrees. I can put a block between here that I can glue everything together so it'll be more rigid. And because I'm making these thinner, it'll need the extra support. So that way it just holds together. And the difference is why 15 degree angles need to be centered. Those are good to go. See, if you look at these, just have to clean up the end here so it's uniform. But uh, it's pretty much straight all the way down. And the end looks like it might need to be cleaned up a little, but And you see, it looks pretty flush, so, but right here it's not. It's just a little bit, but put on my air protection. And if, when I do a production run, I'll wear this one. I'm, I'm gonna do a lot. This is just a demonstration. Right. Now you see, it's nice and flush all the way down. That's what a trim router is good for, a table router. And so when I do all, all, all of these, then I'll go to mount them back on that wheel. And that's the image shown on the video. Uh, and so you see, it looks like it might be a little bent, but as long as it straightens out, See, so this will be need to be fixed. So that way it'll be all nice and straight.